Hello and welcome to UCLA Extension's live video chat. This is a rare opportunity to get expert insights on professional certificates for international students. I'm your host, Celia Sudri. Today I'm honored to be here with Dean Kathy Sandine, who has over 20 years of experience in continuing education and professional development at three UC campuses. Kathy has a PhD in communications, as well as an MBA degree from the UCLA Anderson School of Management. Alongside the Dean, we have Director Bill Gaskell, who has overseen the American Language Center since 1995. Bill has a master's degree in teaching English as a second language and a PhD in applied linguistics from UCLA. He has studied in Germany, lived in Iran, and travels to many countries around the world promoting UCLA Extension international programs. We are here to share essential facts about our 60 plus full-time certificates covering a range of topics including technology, design, engineering, business, and much more. So let's jump right in. Um, Kathy, completing a certificate shows a certain level of dedication and commitment to your industry. What's the value a certificate can provide in the real world and how do you say it compares to a two-year graduate program? Thanks for that question and it's a great opportunity for me to be able to talk more about the advantages of these programs. A professional certificate program at UCLA is a series, a sequence of courses focused on a specific career area. These programs are highly practical, relevant, and current. We're constantly updating them with the advice of industry professionals. Um, they offer flexibility, they offer someone to really focus and enhance their career in a very quick way. Some of the other advantages are the people who teach in the programs, our instructors themselves are uh, real world practitioners, experts in their field that bring that real world knowledge into the classroom. Another advantage is that our international students are studying with American students who are professionals themselves. So when they enter a certificate program, they're really getting the full range of knowledge and culture of this particular profession. So it's a win-win all the way around. They're focused, quicker, um, and uh, get someone up to speed very fast. There's one other major advantage to the certificate programs, especially compared to a two-year graduate degree program. That is, our certificate programs are open enrollment. Very few require specific admissions uh, qualifications. The other thing is, they start every quarter of the year. So four times a year, you can begin one of these programs. So that gives students a lot of flexibility. And that's why currently we have between 700 and 800 international students per year studying with us here at UCLA. Great, great. And um, you mentioned that it's cost efficient. And I wanted to kind of follow up with Bill about, you know, do you have like general price ranges for these certificates? Get an idea? Yeah, a lot of our programs are yeah. in the um, six to eight thousand dollar range. There are some that are longer, that are more expensive, but that's another of the great advantages. Our programs um, for a year cost about the same as some other programs for one semester. So it's really a great advantage. Great, great. And um, I know that there are also facilities available on campus for international students. Um, can you talk a little bit about that and also if they can even enroll in UCLA courses? Yes, both are possible. We have lots of, um, UCLA is just fantastic for sports and recreation and many other things. There are lots of student clubs or many things that students can do on campus. And through UCLA Extension, students can actually sign up for UCLA courses also while they're in their certificate program. And um, in addition to our certificates, we also offer English language programs. So as director of ALC, can you tell us about that and kind of what distinguishes one program from another? Sure, sure. We have two intensive English language programs. One is called the Academic Intensive Program, and we also have a Communications Program. The Communications Program focuses primarily on listening and speaking, day-to-day -day, uh, conversation, communication. The Academic Program is really well-suited for the certificate programs and focuses on 
on all English language skills, reading, writing, listening, speaking, test preparation, study skills, you name it, it includes everything. So the uh, academic program is really excellent preparation for our certificate programs. And a lot of our students have actually done a, a quarter or two with the American Language Center before going on to their certificate program. Great. And then um, what countries are our students coming from? In well, we have students from, and we have an incredible diversity in our certificate programs. Um, I think just to mention a few of the top, maybe top five, we have um, uh, Turkey, Brazil, Italy, France, um, Thailand, okay. many more. Yeah. Great, great. And we're going to hear from students in a little <coughs> bit, um, one from Brazil and the other, from the other two from Chile. Um, and so, Kathy, um, I know that we have international groups that are part of our custom programs on a short-term basis. Uh, can you tell us more about those opportunities and how they combine classroom with real-world experience? Sure. So, so far you've heard about our certificate programs. So these are students coming over who are studying us, with us for a year to 18 months mm -hmm. to two years on a specific certificate. And then you also just heard about our American Language Center, which are short-term intensive programs focused on the English, mm -hmm. uh, teaching the English language. Another group of international students that come to us are what we call our custom students. And we have a program that designs custom programs for international groups from government, other universities, or from industry and corporations from around the world. These groups come to us for any length of time from one week up to a couple months. And they're sent by their employers to study a particular industry, a particular body of knowledge. So for example, we've welcomed many groups from China who worked in the broadcast industry who come here to Los Angeles, to Hollywood, the entertainment capital mm -hmm. of the world, to learn about current techniques in producing or directing or the mm -hmm. business of entertainment. We've done programs on international finance. We've welcomed people who have studied all sorts of different programs. So um, this is a, an area that's um, we're really interested in growing, and mm -hmm. it just expands the number of international students that we're able to serve. Right, right. Might add also that we actually send st uh, instructors overseas to do uh, custom design programs. So we can either do them here in Los Angeles or overseas. We do find that many of our groups want to come to Los mm -hmm. Angeles right. because it's such a fantastic, diverse, and dynamic city. Mm -hmm. We say the world exists in, in Los Angeles. It's the world city because you can find people from all over the globe here in, in the city. And that means that our international students and clients are very comfortable coming here mm -hmm. because they can find a little bit of home and they're also coming to a place where people are culturally aware. Mm -hmm. Often our students say that the best part about the experience is meeting students from other countries. Yeah, because they may not have that opportunity right, back at right. home. That's mm -hmm. great. And then, um, some, Bill, some of our students have questions pertaining to the visa process, housing, insurance, and uh, other things of that nature. Can you address how this is all part of the application process? Yes, our uh, materials and also our website give students specific information on what they need to know about uh, obtaining a visa. And also, we have our own insurance policy, which is really very uh, efficient and, and um, um, reasonably priced. And uh, with that insurance policy, students can use the UCLA uh, medical facilities, which are among the best in the world. So, um, you know, they're very well taken care of here. Okay, great. And then housing? We have lots of housing options. A lot of our certificate students prefer to live in apartments. Usually uh, they may uh, take an apartment or uh, a private residence hall for the first uh, quarter they're here, but usually they meet other students and find an apartment together. So often students can share a two-bedroom apartment, and, um, and there are many apartments in the area. Great. And then um, can you also tell us about internships and practical training because I know a lot of students are very eager to get you know really hands-on experience and start working in Los Angeles. Yes, sure. Um, after students have been in their program for nine months, they can actually do an internship which is a part of the program. And some of those are paid and some are not paid. But it gives them great experience and some of those count toward their coursework. 
For students who have completed a program of nine months or longer, uh, they can apply for uh, optional practical training. They do that in the last quarter that they're studying, and then they can go on and uh, work for one year and be paid for that work. So it's a great opportunity to apply what they've learned uh, in their program. Great. And then can you share like some like, success stories that you might well, have? Well, we've had students uh, working in many, many different places. That's one of the great things about Los Angeles. There are so many uh, places that students can find employment and in their specific fields. Uh, just thinking of a few, we've had students work at um, uh, Miramax doing uh, marketing. Another marketing uh, uh, type um, program has been with um, the LA Kings uh, hockey uh, team. Um, we've had students work for Sony Pictures. Um, a number of the other studios and um, mm -hmm. um, music industries. So it's really been varied. It's am amazing mm -hmm. to hear the stories about students' work experience. Yeah. Great, great. And then um, after attending the American Language Center, where do students go from there? Um, can they apply and transfer to other degree programs? We have a lot of uh, study paths or options for our students who study at the American Language Center. Of course, one of the options that we like to see students do is you know, continue with the certificate programs. But we have uh, conditional acceptance arrangements with a number of community colleges in the area. So students can join a, a community college. And then actually some of our students study at Santa Monica College and then come back to UCLA to finish their degrees. Uh, we also have uh, vocational options. Uh, we have some conditional acceptance agreements with four-year universities also. So there really are a lot of opportunities for our students after they finished our program. Great, thank you. And then um, now we're gonna take some live questions from the Facebook chat for uh, Kathy and Bill. So let's see what we've got. I know we had one question on uh, a, a student returning wanted to know if he could take another certificate. I mean, what's the rule with that? Yes, students often uh, take another certificate. It's funny, um, there are many students who hesitate to join our programs because they're longer than, than many of them. But what's always uh, very interesting is after they get here, they want to find ways to stay longer. So it's very common, for example, if a student does a program in marketing, that they go on to do uh, another program in advertising or a, a related field. Uh, and we've seen students, many, many of our fields, for example, students do an uh, entertainment studies program and then decide that they would like to enhance their skills with a business course. So that's very common. Great. And um, are there scholarship opportunities? Yes, we, I don't know if you wanted to answer that or. Uh, oh, go ahead. <laughs> okay. like I'm doing all the talking yeah, here. That's um, we have a, a very a wonderful scholarship program. Um, one of, the, actually, the person, Laurel Hummel, who started the certificate programs for international students. Um, uh, her family um, has donated a large sum of money uh, that enables usually three or four students to uh, have a scholarship for one quarter and it pays virtually all of their course expenses for a quarter. And uh, that's really been a great opportunity for us also to meet those students and to learn what they're doing and what they plan to do with their, uh, with their careers after studying with us. Yeah, definitely, that's a great opportunity. And um, we talked a little bit about practical training and um, if that can be paid, um, can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, it is, is paid, okay. the practical training. Now, the internships vary. Some are paid and some are uh, unpaid. But those take place during the programs. The uh, optional practical training takes place after. OK. And then uh, let's see what else we have here. Someone just asked if they could take two certificates at the same time. You know, I'm not really sure. I think sometimes they start uh, they start out doing two certificates, but they may not uh, do you know all of the, you know both programs at the same time. They may okay. take some courses in one and some in the other. But I think it's more common that they do one and then follow up with a second. Right. Okay. I'd like to add that some of the coursework overlaps from exactly. one certificate um, to another. So it's possible that you can be very efficient and finish one certificate and then quickly add on another because some of the previous classes will count toward That's the second. The advertising and marketing is a classic example of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, great. And then are the classes held in the evening or during the day? Most of our classes are held in the evening. And uh, there's a great advantage in that, in that that's when the Americans are available. And I think, as Kathy mentioned earlier, one of the greatest advantages of our program is that they're, uh, our programs is that they're combined with Americans and international students. So they're wonderful networking opportunities. And uh, also the international, the American participants uh, 
actually ensure that the class level or the level of instruction will be consistent throughout the program. Some schools offer programs for international students only, and actually the level varies a great deal with the, the students in the program. So it's really nice to have the combination. That said, we are offering um, some of our certificate classes during the day, mm -hmm. so it is possible to complete yeah. some courses during yeah, the day. And we've just had a new program, a daytime program, which is very popular. Which one is that? That's the okay. um, International okay. Bus uh, General Business Studies. Yeah, that yeah, is. General that. Business Studies. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, great. Well, thank you, Kathy and Bill, for your wonderful insights on our certificate programs and English language programs. Thank you. And, um, now we're going to show you a short clip from two Hummel scholarship winners and certificate graduates, one of whom interned at the Grammys and the other whose work was recently screened at the Cannes Film Festival. The program for me um, was a complete lifesaver. I didn't know what direction um, I wanted to pursue in my career. I thought I would come to UCLA Extension, um, start the advertising program. I then continued my studies by adding the marketing certificate to my program. And it really provided me with a lot of real world experience that I could apply to um, my next job. I directed a few short films that I'd written and produced myself, just kind of wangled through them really, but um, actually coming to the um, facility and being trained properly on how to work with actors and um, just, you know, learning about the different shots and the camera angles and everything that the um, the program offers. Last year um, I put a team together um, for the 48 hour film festival and um, most of my crew were, were students on in the extension in my classes and I think we had um, 17 different countries. It's been the place where I've really been able to um, find out who I am and what I want to do and I feel like I've really blossomed and come into my own um, both personally and, and professionally. UCLA Extension is a great way to learn about the craft that you want to pursue and um, a wonderful way for you to break into the career that you desire. Now we have a few special guests from Chile and Brazil. Certificate students Felipe and Gonzalo, both from Chile, are studying marketing with an emphasis in entertainment and marketing with a concentration on social media and web analytics. Felipe has worked in film production as an art director and worked on the first HBO series in Chile. Gonzalo has studied advertising and worked in marketing. He is also currently working part-time on the UCLA campus. Mariana recently finished her certificate in, biz in music business with an emphasis on social media and is currently networking with employers to secure a job in Los Angeles for her practical training. So we're going to start with Mariana. Um, how do businesses here use social media compared to those back home? And can you tell us a little bit about what you've learned here? Sure. Um, when I first uh, started taking classes at UCLA, uh, Every single instructor that I had said that we should start go on and doing uh, social media as a way of mark with people, network with people, engage, and you know, and just have uh, the opportunity to follow up and, and, and grow your network of fans or and followers. Compared to Brazil, I f I see that people there still see Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus as just a way to really connect with your friends and your relatives, your family, they don't see it yet as a professional way of work. So even when I'm, uh, even when I'm, uh, uh, when I go to Brazil, people ask me what I do. And then I, when I say that, they think, oh, this is not called, supposedly not called work. But in fact, it is, because I also have been uh, interning in a company here in that specific area. And besides doing all the promotions on Facebook and Twitter and events, we also take all those numbers behind that, all the analytics from how many people liked your comments or reply or, uh, you know, everything, share your posts. And then we just analyze all that, how is affecting the business, what we should keep doing or we should stop doing for the next events. Mm -hmm. Great, yeah, I mean, 
there definitely have been a lot more career opportunities here in the social media field and new positions opening at companies for this specific need. Yeah, exactly, a lot. And the things uh, in social media, they tend to uh, happen, w occur really fast compared to to these days to the uh, main media and outlets like newspapers and TV. Things get faster on and first on Twitter and Facebook than any other outlet these days. Yeah, definitely. And with print being cut, it's it's a lot um, faster of a medium and more efficient to get the word out on your yeah. advertising. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you. And then um, Felipe, uh, what has been your most memorable LA experience, and what have you enjoyed the most here? Well, uh, if you live here in Los Angeles, you can have a lot of experiences. Like uh, I don't know, every corner you can get. A you can see people uh, doing movies or TV programs or things like that. Uh, but especially for me, now I'm going to do the LA Marathon. I'm going to run the LA Marathon in two more weeks. So it's going to be a great experience for me because uh, I have never run a marathon before. And to, to do this here in LA with more than five, uh, five, uh, 500 people, uh, it's amazing because uh, there's a lot of people doing it and I don't know the experience I think is going to be great so yeah well that's I think it, would, it will be my, be my best experience here Okay, and then also I want to mention that uh, you know we have some great weather here and it's the winter so yeah well the factor of the weather here is amazing because here you have sunny days during winter and you can do whatever you want mostly so yeah. it's amazing yeah that's very nice and um, Gonzalo, uh, can you talk a little bit about your concentration on web analytics and why you think this is important for your career? Sure. Um, well, I took the concentration in web analytics. I already had my basic knowledge about marketing because of the program and because of my past career. So I decided to take this web analytics concentration because if you start like um, looking where the marketing field is going, um, uh, is mostly going to the online world, so or important thing of the marketing is going that way. So I decided to take this web analytics concentration, which is here in UCLA Extension. Um, I found it a great opportunity to focus my career in a, a specific tool that mm -hmm. already has a huge potential and in the future will be probably one of the, of the strongest uh, tools in the marketing field. So yeah, I decided to go to the to that concentration along with the social media, which is um, also a huge thing that is happening in the online world. Great, and then you're also working part time on campus while you're looking for an yes. internship. Yes. Yeah. Well, I decided to 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 be in the team of UCLA Catering. I did my application, um, and it's basically to help um, in seminars and events and things uh, within the campus. So it's a great team, um, and it's to have a little more uh, money to do mm -hmm. stuff here in LA and, and to take advantage of the UCLA opportunities. Great. And then, um, so living in LA has given you all a rare chance to meet people from all over the world. Can you share a few of your experiences? I know, Mariana, your first encounter. Uh, yeah, um, when I first moved to LA back in November 2008, my first, my first friend here w was actually from Thailand. So you know, it's like, I feel like it's a melting pot. There's people from everywhere and d d a lot of different cultures in the same place. So it's nice how the things change and, and um, interact with each other. And you know, you can find everything in one place. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, besides every time that you go to classes, you can meet people from all over the world. Uh, people from Turkey, China, Taiwan, South America, there's a lot of also people there. So it's amazing how the networking also you, the, the is important here, you know, for future works and yeah. Yeah, besides the networking is a, a, a huge experience like to learn more than in the classroom. You can learn from these people from different cultures and, and mm -hmm. things that you maybe wouldn't um, be able to, to know if it is not because you have a conversation with these different cultures and people. 
Yeah, definitely. And then before we finish with um, the three of you, I wanted to also talk about the entertainment industry in Los Angeles for those of you who might be interested in studying, you know, marketing with an emphasis in entertainment or something in that field. Mm -hmm. um, maybe talk about a little bit of your the opportunities you have here that are, you know. Yeah, for sure. For example, uh, I took uh, last quarter a course. The name was uh, Marketing uh, of Entertainment. And was basically a lot of uh, lectures, you know, and uh, really important people went to this class. And every, uh, every day, new uh, topics like, for example, social media, social media in the entertainment world, or distribution, or producing, everything. And it's amazing how you can learn new things and current th things that are happening now in the entertainment field. Um, yeah, I, for sure, I, I would encourage people to come here and learn about uh, the, the entertainment world and what's going on because, like we, like we know, LA yeah. is the city of entertainment. It is, and we recently attended a conference for specifically that social media with a focus on entertainment, and um, there were some great panelists and celebrity guests, and you know, UC and th that was on the UCLA campus, and there's a ton of opportunities here to explore that. And um, I, I want to thank the Dean again, Dean Kathy Sandine and William Gaskell for taking time to join us this afternoon. And thank you to our students, Felipe, Gonzalo, Mariana, who gave us some great real world examples of what this experience is really like. And we're thrilled to have you all here. Uh, the, cer the certificate application deadline is May 1st and summer session begins in late June. And the conversation continues online. We have a team here answering your questions on, in the Facebook chat. And you can email us directly at livechat at uclaextension.edu. Please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and LinkedIn. And thank you all so much for joining us, and we hope to see you soon.